Hello everyone. Hope you all are well. Welcome to London Scholing 2021. This is an honor for me to speak again third time in a row uh, in this um, in this session. Uh, uh, today I'm going to talk about Einstein OCR optical corrector recognition. My name is Mohammed Abrar Haq, but I can just go by Abrar. I've been working uh, in ecosystems since 2010. I work for startups and global uh, leading uh, professional services firms. I'm a certified application and system architect, and I'm also a public speaker in Salesforce world. I'm sure you must have uh, seen this slide many times. Uh, few of the features of Einstein OCR uh, are still in beta. So please always make your purchasing decisions on products and services that are currently available and not what you see here today. This is the agenda for this session. First, we will briefly talk about uh, overall Einstein, uh, Salesforce Einstein. What are the products there? What is this, uh, Salesforce Einstein OCR, how it works? Um, and of course, we'll go into the small demo and, and the API call walkthrough, and as well as what are the benefits and the business use cases that you will achieve through this uh, Einstein OCR. And of course, we will briefly talk about potential other options um, uh, we have in the market and, uh, and, and, and the learning resources that we have. Okay, so, all right, let's get started. So Salesforce, uh, there, there, are, there are various um, artificial intelligence solutions and, and products are available in the market. Einstein is the artificial intelligence for Salesforce. The benefit of Einstein is that because the Salesforce data that if you use Salesforce and your data is essential data is in, on the Salesforce platform, then Salesforce Einstein is the naturally option for you to go for. It provides you out of the box various artificial intelligence uh, solutions uh, such as Einstein searching, uh, predictions, recommendations, and, and so forth, and, and many other options. Einstein, Salesforce Einstein, uh, divides into two basic main categories Einstein out of the box applications and Einstein platform services. Today, our focus is on Einstein platform services and specifically Einstein OCR, optical corrector recognition. What is Einstein? So Einstein OCR actually started um, generally available since summer 20 release. Einstein OCR is actually a solution to detect and extract alphanumeric text from, uh, from images or PDF files. It leveraged behind the scene, it leverages computer vision or Einstein vision to analyze that image, process that, extract the relevant information so that later on you can use that relevant information to update Salesforce records, records and store your data electronically in Salesforce so that later on you can actually search that data. There are considerations, of course, uh, you know, with, with respect to Einstein OCR, there are file formats uh, that you need to consider. So graphic images, JPEG, PNG, um, those images, those file formats, you have PDF files. Uh, just, to be, uh, just to consider that PDF files just released in Spring 20 re 21 release, as a beta feature, which means that you need to wait to uh, you need to wait to use this uh, uh, your your solution uh, your requirements, which are which are going to process PDF files, and hopefully in the coming releases that will be GPA. Uh, there's a file size as well per file size. Maximum file size should be 10 MB, and at the minute it only supports English language, so it only extra it can it can detect the text in other languages, but it come, when it comes to uh, extracting that or processing that, it supports only English language at the moment. Now let's talk about how it works. 
it has mainly essentially three different steps. So collect. So first it collects the data, unstructured data, that could be image, that image, or that could be a PDF document. It then pass that data into a REST API, Einstein REST API call. The, the, the second step is transform. So it actually take that data, runs the Einstein vision, which basically classifies and extract the essential data that is required for extracting. Then the third step is deliver. So it extracts that data in a format that, that can be uh, understandable and that can be easily stored in Salesforce records, such as JSON format. So it can, you can read that format, you can then transfer, uh, transform that format into your readable format in data. There are various um, components that actually you extract that, such as uh, if, you are, if you are extracting contact, contact records, or contact um, card, then it, it has its own classification of data to extract that. So you don't need to worry about that what is website or what is address, it actually classifies that for you. And then later on, of course, you can extract that data, use that data to pass on to external system, your, your data warehouse, your uh, master data management, or even update records in Salesforce. All right, let's go into um, a quick small demo that shows you what are the different components that you can get out of Einstein OCR. I am going to use a very uh, small package uh, from Salesforce Labs uh, that has a feature Einstein OCR. So we can try uh, different different options here. So in Einstein OCR, you have uh, you you have diff three different categories of data. You have uh, random images just showing the text. If you for 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 that you use text type. If you have business cards, then you use contact type. If you have a, an image that has that contains tables, uh, then you use table type. So let's start with the text at the moment and give it a random text file. So you can see here, it actually behind the scene, it, it process that, it then identifies and detect each particular text in that particular image. And you can see it clearly identifies that, detects that, and when it comes to now, because behind the scene, it uses Einstein REST API call. It then pass that image into that. It process that. It now identifies that yeah, these are the different um, text in this particular image. And now, if you go into the row, which is like JSON format, that actually eventually you will get. This is how you will get the data. So there are various uh, attributes here, which we need, which 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 are very important in terms of data uh, data collection. So you have probabilities, which means that it tells you that how much probability uh, you have to, to detect that this particular text is the right text in that particular image in that, at that particular place. So here it has attributes, so page numbers. So of course, the moment we only have one image, so it gives you, if you have multiple, let's say if you have PDF file, it has more than one page, then it will tell you exactly where it, it has detected that particular text. So it has page number here, it has bounding box as well. So where that particular box has a boundary. So what is the minimum max? What is the X, Y, Z proper 4D model? Then you have the label. Of course, what actually the text it has extracted. And the, what is the percentage of the probability that this text is the right text at that particular place? So this is for the any image that, that has a, uh, a text there. Now let's, let's try uh, a business card. So let's, so take, you need to take the type of contact. You pass on the contact type, a, a business card. Now again, you pass that image into a REST API 
uh, endpoint. It then basically processes that. It then detects each and every uh, text in that particular image. So you can clearly see that it detects every attribute of the of the image and the boundaries around that text. Now let's go into the JSON format that actually gets it. So we can see here clearly, again, the format, the, the metadata is same, probabilities. It has attributes, of course. Now it has, because it's a business card, it has another attribute called tag, which means that what is the classification of that particular text? So here we, it has detected that Randy E, a contact name. So it's a person. Some attributes then, if it is, it doesn't, try, it doesn't get any classification, then it goes into other type or other tag, which is Philips at the moment. Um, and then, uh, and for example, here we have, let's say website. So it detects that this is the website because it has got dot, dot, dot com in it. Uh, it detects uh, also phone number. So it's a, it's a, it's a, um, it's a phone, it's a mobile phone those different, different uh, types. It also detect that it's an address because it has got a, a postal code or, um, 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 or post, uh, postal code here. It detects the email as well. It detects also the org as well because it was next to the, next to the .com um, website. It did extract that and, and, and tells you that this is exactly the org name. So, and you also have table as well. So if you have a scenario where you have an image or even PDF files, which has like different tables, uh, extracting like a report out of, um, out of your data warehouse or out of your uh, monthly or weekly report that you can actually, you need to process that or you are getting something from out of, uh, out of your organization, outside of your organization, um, you need to process that. So you use that, that in that case. Now, you of, of course, you get that data. Now, where you can use that data. So for example, let's take a business case scenario. So let's say you have a lead record and that lead record, you get it through any, uh, any webinar out of, of after that webinar or any conference, you get that lead. Actually, that lead record at that time, you get it, but just get it the essential data. But now you need to update that missing information as well. So what you can do is you can create a new component here uh, at the right-hand side of the section where you can actually exactly use the same component and then, and then basically build the model so that, so that it updates that uh, record through even PDF or image or even business cards. So this is another scenario that you can you can utilize uh, Einstein OCR. Okay, let's go back to the slides. All right. So this is the, the, the there these are the different API calls uh, for Einstein that you that you have, that you can call uh, uh, with the different uh, scenarios. So this is the first scenario where, where we actually pass that a random uh, image. Uh, it could be a PDF file as well. The main uh, components here is basically the sample location, which means that you pass that sample location. It, uh, sometimes um, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a sample content. Uh, which means that somewhere in your drive, drive, um, drive the file is there. Um, task is what task is text type. The model ID. If you if you are using a task type text, then the model ID should be OCR model. And the API call for Einstein you need to pass is actually this API call. Okay. Same goes for if you are if you have a business cards, then you need to process that. You use contact and exactly the same other information and of course the URL. And if, but if you have a table format in your image or PDF documents, then you use task type as table and the model ID is table EV2, table version two, okay? Right. So you, you, you can clearly see there are various different use cases depending on uh, um, different industries. For example, 
in finance sector, there's, there's always an essential requirement that you need to process slips data that comes in from such as, let's say, London market, um, that basically you, that brokers and underwriters always have uh, problems to process because they have to do it manually. In this case, they can actually use, utilize this OCR solution from Einstein to actually process those, those PDFs, documents, and extract the essential data so that you can utilize it to update either if you are using uh, Salesforce as your CRM, use that pass and then update that, those records. You could also, as we mentioned earlier, you, talk, uh, you can utilize for business cards. You can utilize your expense slips. So employees has expenses, you, they upload that those PDF or even normal images from their mobile, mobile devices. You can utilize that to verify that the data is correct. You can use for scanning your serial numbers, products, and, and ID verification things. And of course, these use cases are not just the use cases. These are few of them. Now, you can clearly see benefits um, uh, where once you utilize uh, Einstein OCR solution um, to automate uh, the, um, the scanning of the documents so that you get rid of the manual intervention by the human or even reducing the manual data entry. And of course, once you do that, then you can utilize that data for archiving purpose, as well as you can search that data as well, which is really important because sometimes you can search the data, which is text-based in Salesforce, but you can't search it. It's very difficult that you search for uh, search uh, uh, you know, PDF files or documents or images. Um, and of course, when it comes to data, data governance, data quality perspective, it improves your data quality because you extract that essential data. You don't need to rely on the documents now and to, and to manually review those documents. And of course, cost effective as well from a business, um, business process outcome perspective. Again, these are different uh, benefits that you get. And depending on the industry, you have different use cases, different benefits. Of course, Einstein OCR is here now, but it's a, it's a new product. So it's, it, it, it needs time to evolve. It's getting less uh, PDF is, 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 is still in the beta. There are various um, solutions in the market uh, with secure and high, uh, high, uh, highly scalable solutions. Um, these are different kind of solutions. And these are, of course, just few of them. There are various other solutions in the market that you could utilize uh, for your OCR uh, solu uh, um, uh, solution perspective. Okay. These are different learning resources that you can go and, and, and learn Einstein OCR. I would highly recommend uh, if you if you are new to Einstein OCR, just try this Einstein uh, vision and language um, model, which is um, as, uh, by Salesforce Lab. So you can use that and then try different scenarios here. Uh, and there's a there's a, a Trailhead Live module as well. Use that to to learn how, what Einstein OCR is further. Okay. And with that. Uh, thank you again for, for joining and, uh, and, and coming to this session. I hope this was a useful session. Uh, if you have any questions, any, any, any clarification that you want to, 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 to get, please uh, reach out to me uh, through, through Twitter, LinkedIn, and, and uh, I'm happy to answer, answer your questions. Thank you.